Now, good morning to you all. My name is Talio Majese from Go5. And those are my colleagues, Enok, Muhiri, and, and John Mukajan. We are going to be talking about an e-library research tool. Uh, hold on. Uh, with the introduction, with increased usage of internet by scholars, business personnel, and other users on the internet, research is inevitable in everyone's kind of life. And then uh, on the internet, where anyone is trying to do research from, basically there is a lot of information there, some that is useful and some that is not. And uh, and that's where the problem comes in. We come uh, with our problem statement. We come to improve and simplify such research through the use of a library tool that recommends the best books for research and availing of vast pool of guided research material. Uh, related work, many companies that that we know in this current era, such as Amazon, Netflix, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all use this, this form of recommending uh, with their users to simplify uh, simplify their use of, the, of their apps and, and what have you. And we have our research questions. What challenges does one face while looking for information, especially educational books on the internet? What ways can be implemented to bring about convenience in searching for information on the internet? And do you support the idea of having different interface for information instead of the internet? Then we have our objectives. Our main objective is to simplify research through arming scholars, researchers, and interested parties with a tool to ease their workflow. With our other objectives being creating a data set for educational material, to improve accessibility of educational information, to increase the availability, the availability of correct and proven data to the researcher, and to create a vast pool of top content books from which the researchers can choose from. Uh, I'll hand over to my colleague to talk about the methodology. Yes, uh, good morning to you. Uh, my name is Enoch Muhiri. I'm here to talk about the methodology of our system. Um, in the world, there are very many recommender systems uh, that have been implemented by different companies such as Amazon, eBay, Netflix, uh, Spotify, among others, YouTube. Um, basically, most of these recommender systems are basically built for particular purposes of that business, for example. That's why when we made our research, it was hard to find, actually, there is none on the internet that is of educational material. All the recommender systems are either for business, are either for uh, movies, comic books, and any other forms of entertainment. But when it comes to educational content, they are actually none. That's why we came up with uh, this idea of creating this, the, this tool. So the methodology we're using is a collaborative filtering. Uh, there are three, actually, there is content, collaborative filtering, and uh, hybrid. And for now, for this case of our project, we are going to use the collaborative filtering approach, as it is said here. Uh, it is going to be running as a Python app. We shall use the Streamlit technology. Though currently, we haven't yet uh, completed the web app, but the algorithm is running. And uh, we are still working on how to complete the Python uh, application. It will be running as a web app. And uh, uh, we go on. This is just a code snippet of, uh, of this code as is shown on the screen. So uh, a general overview of what the collaborative filtering uh, recommender system technique uses. Uh, right here, what we see are two tables. On our extreme right, we are having a, a table having user ID, item ID rating, and a timestamp. So this, in effect, we can call a data set. It is having a user ID and an item and a rating and a timestamp. So on the left, we are having another table. So this table, we can we can uh, actually term it as a pivot table. Uh, basically, it is a two-dimensional table that is uh, having, that is creating a matrix of two items that is the user ID and the, and the ratings as the values and also the item ID. So 
it actually maps the user ID to the item ID and the values within there, the 541 and the ratings, which in effect are, are what we are, it is what we are going to use as our information. And uh, for collaborative filtering, as a general overview, this is how it will happen. It is going to map users uh, with similar interests. Yes. Um, on our next slide, according to the, to the above slide, this is showing us that users A, B, C, and D have rated two books. That is just a snippet, and those are their ratings. Now, this is a graphical representation of what the above data set would look like. And uh, there are two methods. We have uh, distance and uh, angles. So if we are trying to get uh, the distance, we use this uh, very... Uh, method we can uh, import spatial from spikes from a, a library called SciPy, and we feed in the ratings of A, B, C, D. Those are our users. So when we calculate the distance between uh, in accordance to C and A, to C and B, to C and D, we shall realize that uh, B is much close to C, having a, a rating of zero point five. The distance between them is zero point five. So basically they will match. So basically, if I'm to recommend a book, then the, uh, I will actually cluster C and B together. So from this, uh, we can also have a graphical representation of the distance in accordance. So C and B are much closer. Uh, using the cosine distance, this will actually have uh, more of the angles part. But for our case, we are going to use uh, the distance. Now, in accordance to what we have written down in our code, um, we are going to create a variable of distance and suggestion whereby we shall have uh, uh, the algorithm measure the distance, suggest the books, and then actually it will make a cluster of those who like a certain type of books and those who like a certain type of books. So in case any other new user comes in, they are actually mapped together and, and uh, the algorithm checks to see where this user can actually fall. So we shall be using uh, we shall be using the, the distance as the code is going to be uh, shown in a, in a little while. So let me call upon my other colleague to conclude for us this, uh, this presentation. All right, uh, thank you, thank you, Eno. Uh, just like uh, Enoch and uh, just a bit, bit anything on this system, uh, this system will uh, quicken, quicken the, the works of a, of a, of a scholar, of a student, and the business personnel. Uh, this in uh, reducing the margin of, uh, of only the help, help information and then recommend the best books for the reader, given, given, or like given a search for a topic. Uh, just jump on the limitations. Uh, the famous books or the famous uh, materials will be recommended, and then the new items may not be recommended at all. Uh, given the fact that Advancement uh, and the fact of this tool, uh, that is a broader database education material. Uh, an upgrade to hybrid recommender approach uh, will be, I think, incorporated in the system. Uh, an, app, an, app, an, app, an app improve uh, the convenience for the user. Then the possibility of searching through various libraries, given a website or a library, as for example, to say. And then the possibility of searching local database for purposes of comparison with the existing database. And then the possibility of people to add books on the system. That will be the future direction. And then uh, the references are just as below. Thank you for, for your time. And uh, yeah, thank you for listening to us.